Alrighty. Howdy, neighbors, and welcome back to Donny Nova, Trigger Happy Habit. So last time we finished the investigation, so now we know how Leon got rid of the evidence of him killing Sayaka. And now we're gonna go to the trial, so that way we can call him a Dirty Dirty Liar. We already took everybody in here. See if there's any model points that could be used. I don't think so. No choice but to get on the well elevator. Then. Let us begin. Yes, indeed. A good idea. Hey, are you scared? No, well, it's scared as a fire. Hold on. I said it before. I'd love for you to uncover the mysterious. The mystery is the case yourself. If you don't, I'll never attempt to grips with the truth. The truth of the truth is sad as death. I don't need someone else to tell me to do that. It's Sayaka's on me. This will find out who the real killer is. Use my voice to try to give us some courage. I turn, trolling with anticipation for the elevator. Each step forward, feel my heart starting to race faster and faster. I'm a little on the elevator. When I finally stepped on. The door's closed. And the elevator started to move. Steel box descended, with heavy clunking sounds to the school's basement. Yo, Taka is really in front, isn't he? I wonder if this is how the death row inmate feels when his time finally comes. Oh! Rather than that, it is not more like a defendant waiting to receive his judgment. Oblivious to our shared anxiety, the elevator lowered us further and further into the bowels of the school. <laughs> you finally arrived! Ta-da! You're the throne? Oh my god. What do you think? Does this feel like a real courtroom? No. It's like a Hollywood movie set, right? No. Dude. I were close as to all shit. Well now. Okay, okay, everyone, find your assigned seats and sit down. Yeah! Hurry up now, hurry up. We all do what he said in front of our seats. Aww, <laughs> they put their pictures. Seats for a sign, we're arranged in a giant circle. There aren't even chairs, we have to stand the whole time, boo. So that everyone could see everyone else. Which meant, be easy for anyone to transfer their attention and unease unto anyone else. Air seemed to grow heavy as we sat there. Yeah, I wonder who's really sweating. <laughs> Freaking Leon. And so the button for our first case opened. A deadly judgment. A deadly deception. A deadly betrayal. A deadly riddle, a deadly defense, a deadly faith, a deadly class trial. Pre-trial prep? Sure. Uh, what's a class trial that Monokuma mentioned? Can Makoto sweep away at the cloud of suspicion? Surrounding him? Even with a dead body laying in his bathroom? And what about the blackened? Who is actually responsible for Sayaka's death? Hey, that's some skills. Um, Robot job. He's a truthful rate of fire. During non-stop debate and bullet time final battle strike. Okay. Melodious voice. Increases damage of the opponent. And the statement is destroyed. 
Better during bullet time battle. Okay. <laughs> Open E handbook. Um. Oh, my true bullets. Rock in the file. Struggle. Sword. Sheath. Rooms. Toolkit. Our room being clean. Sagar's wrist, which was broken with the fake sword. Leon, upside down. But it's on kanji, so it, it's believed to be 11037. No worries. Uh, the door frame. The broken doorknob. The nameplates. Kitchen knives. Aoi. Trash duty. Incinerator. Shirt piece. Just a ball. God, we have 18 things to keep track of. And it's like, let's give you maximum number. Okay, I think we're ready. Try it. All rise. Let's begin with a basic explanation of the class trial. So, your votes will determine the results. Okay. If you can figure out who done it, then only they will receive punishment. But if you pick the wrong one, then I'll punish everyone besides the blackened, and the one that deceived everyone else will graduate. And the killer really is one of us, right? Of course! Okay then. Everyone, close your eyes. And whoever did it, raise your hand. Fucking idiot. <laughs> <laughs> Don't be a goddamn idiot. Why the hell would they raise their hand? That was the dumbest thing. Before we move on and start the trial, can I ask a question real quick? <laughs> What's going on with those pictures? I feel awful if they got left out just because they died. Friendship penetrates even death's barrier. You're such a dick. Friendship penetrates. I need you to cease and desist. Okay, but what about that other empty seat? Uh, that's Monokuma's. There were only 15 of us to begin with, so why are there 16 seats? Oh, no reason. It's just that our little courtroom here can technically fit up to 16 people. I'm guessing there were supposed to be 16 students. Maybe the first guy was supposed to be there. The one that got rocketed off into space. Okay, that about does it for the preamble. Get ready to get started. First up is the case summary. Now, let the class trial begin. It's about to begin. The debate to decide who we think the killer is. Anything I found, anything I noticed. I have to be ready to speak up about everything. Because this isn't just about me. Everyone's lives are on the line. Your first non-stop debate is about to begin. Would you like to hear more? Ah, uh, it's... Girl! <laughs> As things progress, during each class trial, you will engage in a number of non-stop debates. During discussions, characters will speak one after another without pause. It's up to you to un unearth any lies or contradictions buried within their statements. That means you'll have to use your truth bullets to refute what they say. Any relevant truth bullets you found during your investigation will be loaded into the truth cylinder. Use the mouse to aim, and fire them with the left mouse button. Pay close attention to which character statements, and use your truth bullets to blast the right ones. Know that if you run out of time, well, automatically fail, so please be careful. If you press the escape key during these arguments, you can review the controls. Well then, good luck and have fun. Oh god, we're spinning! <laughs> Make your argument. Oh, what is that for Okay. 
I assert that the one who was murdered was Miss Sayaka Maizono! Kind of yeah, we know that part already. And the murder took place in Makoto's room. Why is it to the bathroom? So it seems most likely that... The killer must have taken her by surprise while she was in the bathroom. No, it's a lie. She didn't even have a chance to resist. No, that's wrong! No, that's wrong! Okay, so the reticle just likes to move on its own, so that's... Just a second, Chihiro. That really sucks. Try to remember how my room looked. With the way things had been damaged, I think we can definitely assume there was a struggle. A struggle? Between who and who? Chihiro, please. Between Sayaka and the killer, of course. So you're saying Sayaka wasn't caught by surprise in the bathroom? I know you weren't there, Chihiro. But I'm gonna need you to put on your thinking cap. She must have been attacked in the main room first. Then, she ran to the bathroom to try and hide. The killer followed her in, and that's where they finished the job. That much should have been obvious after taking one look at the scene. It shouldn't even need explaining. To hear it in town. Sorry. Okay, so what's next? Next is the subject of the murder weapon. God, you're so cool. Wow, this is starting to sound like a real trial. I I beg of you to shut up. <laughs> you're not helping. We need to determine what was used to kill Sayaka. Oh god. We're spinning. Make your argument. Get your knife out. Okay. So what was used to kill her? Look, it's just moving. My hand is still. Well, some kind of sharp object off the thrust into her stomach. Without a doubt, that is the murder weapon. So the killer used some random knife they had. No, no it's wrong. No, I do think it was a knife, but not just any knife. I'm almost positive it was a kitchen knife. Huh? A kitchen knife? After the murder. We discovered that one of the knives from the kitchen was missing. Which means that knife must be the murder weapon. Correct. Oh, yeah. I guess that makes sense. You could sort of see the weapon sticking out of her stomach. Sort of? And if you look real close, I could totally see that being a kitchen knife. How is that a sort of, Mondo? Okay, so the murder weapon was a kitchen knife, but where does that get us? Where does it get us, Leon? I mean, we all know Makoto killed her, right? That's right. Makoto's room was the scene of the crime. What more proof do you need? Hold on a second. I'm... Let's draw our conclusions after we've presented our arguments. Otherwise, what's the point of the trial? Well, we can talk all we want. It's not going to change that conclusion. What makes you say that, Leon? Out of anyone here, what makes you say that? I don't think that's true at all. I'm sure if we keep at it, something new will reveal itself. You really believe that? She's right. There's gotta be a breakthrough somewhere, just waiting for us to find it. And I know damn well I'm not the killer. You don't want to learn about non-stop debates. You'd like to hear more. Concentrate by holding on the space key. Ooh, delicious. Concentrating. Time will slow down. You can pay closer attention to what everyone's saying. On top of that, it will set your aim. Make it easier to target potential weak spots. Concentrating like this consumes your focus gauge. If the gauge is empty, so you can't concentrate. The focus gauge will recover over time. Let your brain take a rest in order to rush. Well then, good luck and have fun. We're spinning. Oh, the song! Our the count. So I guess there's no question that the kitchen knife was the murder weapon. Oh, okay. But where does that get us? I mean, Makoto must have taken it from the kitchen, right? We did it in secret. No, that's wrong! Because someone was in the dining hall! I should probably listen to everyone's argument. Okay, wait. Hold on. I didn't take the knife from the kitchen. Next you're gonna say you're not the killer, right? 
Go ahead, and say it all you want. Well, what if I have a witness? What do you think, Hina? Huh? Remember what you were telling me earlier? Well, I went to go get some tea from the kitchen last night. But all the knives were still there. I finished my tea and went back to the kitchen to wash my glass. When the knife was gone. Then the knife disappeared while you were drinking your tea in the dining hall. Yeah. Just to be perfectly clear, the knife disappeared while you were in the dining hall, correct? Yeah, that's right. And at any point while you were there, did you ever see me come into the dining hall? Um... No, I don't think so. You don't think so? I was just about to say, be off the end. No, he definitely wasn't there. Then who was? The knife disappeared while Hina was in the dining hall. But I wasn't there the entire time. In other words, there's no way I could have taken the knife. Okay, then what about this? Tell me, Toko. What if the idiot swimmer girl and Makoto are in on it together, and lying to protect each other? Idiot swimmer girl? Oh, and more importantly, why would I get involved in something like that? Speaking of which, I'd like to ask the bear. If there is an accomplice, do they also become blackened? So you ask, and so I shall answer! Fucking dog. Each murder is allowed to have an accomplice, but only the one who does the killing will get to graduate! So in other words, two people can work together, but one of them has no chance of profiting from it. Wouldn't it be so cool if there were two blackened? I don't know, like, a simultaneous killing. Or if, like, two different murders occurred. Two opposite sides. But, like, at the same time, how would that work? Then there's no way anyone would work together, right? But what if they did work together, and they just didn't know about the rule? Ugh, good grief! Enough already! No, okay? There are no accomplices in this case! Oops! Did I say that out loud? Anyway, I didn't go to the dining hall. And I didn't take the knife. So I'm not the killer! Okay, so then... Who did take the knife? Hina seems the obvious candidate. After all, she just said she was in the dining hall. That is true, and you're very cute, but I don't think that's- No, no way! I swear it wasn't me! I don't think it was Leon, either. I feel like Leon would... would do the sword. Because that has way more heft and is easier for him to use. Based on how he's used to holding a bat. Sure, but can you or anyone else prove that? I can! That's right! Sakura was with me the entire time I was drinking my tea! Could've told me that earlier! Uh... I hate to have to ask, but just to be sure, Sakura's... Me. Right. <laughs> oh, Leon! <laughs> oh, boy! But then, couldn't either one of them have grabbed the knife? Actually, no. Because... Um... Well... Just spit it out already. I stayed in Hina's room last night. I got so scared thanks to those creepy videos. I wasn't really thinking, I just asked her to stay over. Which means, we have airtight alibis. You stayed over? Doesn't that violate one of the school regulations? As long as it was in a room, it's fine. We're not allowed to sleep anywhere but the dorms. But it doesn't say we have to stay in our assigned room. So, I don't think that's a problem. It is a problem! A boy and a girl spending the night together? It's... it's... unwholesome! They're both girls, idiot. But I'm a girl. You are? <laughs> oh my gosh, I'm so sorry! <laughs> but if it wasn't either of you, then what other possibility is there? My god, I'm dead. Actually, there is one other possibility. Right, Hina? Can we just get to the answer? Oh, yeah, that's true! One other person did come to the dining hall while we were there. Why didn't you say so in the first place? Thank you, Biakuya. Well, because... They're not here anymore. Someone is not here anymore. 
You're talking about Sayaka. She's the one who came to the dining hall. And then later, she wound up dead. So what if Sayaka used used her pole and was like, Hey, Leon, come to my room and I can I can tell you what it's like to be a star. And he was like, Hell yeah. Came over. Sayaka tried to attack him. He defended and killed her instead. Ooh. And then was gonna frame Makoto for it. Because it was in his room. Sayaka. Okay, so the person who took the knife from the kitchen was Sayaka. I got it! Then Sayaka is the one who took the knife? That's the only possibility. And thinking back on it, she was acting kind of unusual. When she came into the dining hall, she didn't even look at us. She just went straight to the kitchen. As she left, she said she just wanted a drink of water. But most likely... The person who took the knife was the victim herself. I'm sure... I'm sure she just took it for self-defense. You're wrong. So you're saying the knife she took was then taken from her and she was killed with it? She was right-handed and her right wrist was fucked up. Makes sense. In that case, you may not have taken the knife, but you still could have killed her. What? See? He did do it after all! Toko, please keep it to yourself. No! You're wrong! So, that's how you would twist the argument and send us all off in the wrong direction? Hmm. You possess a most terrifying talent. Damn. If I don't do something, you're gonna blame me for the murder. There already are, Makoto. I understand. They can pick me, I'm gonna die. Hold on. It's still too early to decide conclusively that Makoto is the killer, wouldn't you say? I... I'm... I'm betting money that the ultimate dick is actually the ultimate detective. Bet you money. Because you see, if the room did belong to the killer, then they did something most bewildering. And until we unravel that little mystery, you simply can't declare that he's the killer. The nameplates. Bewildering? What the hell are you talking about? The nameplates. Something was missing from the scene of the crime that by all rights should have been there. You know what I'm talking about, don't you? First Hangman's Gambit is but what in the hell? <laughs> Please. As things advance further in the class trial, the Hangman's Gambit will eventually take place. The point of this is to reveal an important phrase related to the incident in question. You'll have to decide the phrase from the letters flying around. And the letters already known. Complete the phrase by shooting down the flying letters in the right order. Oh fuck, I have to spell? Oh no. Oh, we're gonna be here for days. I can't spell. Use the mouse to aim and press the left mouse button to shoot the desired letters. Shoot down the wrong letters. Except for damage to your influence gauge. Gauge is zero. You run out of time, you fail. Good luck and have fun. I think that should have been the same. What was it? Crucial point. We just figure out if that's something wrong. I'm spinning. Okay, I'm thinking. Okay, um, I need an A and an R. Oh, A. Okay. R. There. Now I understand. Nice. Complete. I'd really rather not be blinded at the That's anything. right. There wasn't a single hair on the floor. So, the culprit removed some evidence? Yes. And if I were the culprit, why would I need to get rid of all the hair in my own room? It wouldn't be unusual at all to find my hair at the crime scene if the crime scene is in my room. The reason all the hair was gone was to remove any trace that Sayaka had ever been there. That makes sense, does it not? Then why would he leave the body? No. 
If that were the case, they would have had to do something about the body itself, not just her hair. <laughs> yes, very true, very true. Okay, then why wasn't there any hair on the ground? You tell me, Leon. The killer got rid of it all, of course, to remove any trace that they had ever been there. Wait, then that means... Precisely. It's simply beyond reason to believe that the room owner and the killer are one and the same. Then... Makoto isn't the culprit? Are you sure we can decide something so important based solely on the absence of some hair? No. There are other reasons that prove why Makoto couldn't have done it. Go on. I would like to hear these reasons. Do you remember anything remarkable about the bathroom at the scene? Sayaka was attacked in the main room first, then fled into the bathroom, right? Yeah, then they ran after her, got into the bathroom, and stabbed her. And how did the killer get into the bathroom? Did they have any trouble with it? What do you mean? It's fairly certain that the killer had some trouble getting into the bathroom. There was clear evidence left behind. Do you remember, Makoto? The trouble getting into the bathroom. The evidence that proves it. How did the killer broke? Oh god, no! Please don't give me a timer! Oh, the doorknob. I got it! <laughs> evidence that the killer had trouble getting into the bathroom. You're talking about the doorknob, right? Huh? The doorknob? What doorknob? Idiot! The doorknob for my bathroom. It was completely broken. See how the top part was unscrewed? And the doorknob's about ready to fall off? Oh yeah, true. But what does it mean? In trying to bypass the lock, they ended up nearly removing the entire doorknob. This is another most bewildering act for the room's owner. It proves Makoto is beyond suspicion. So what? You're saying he wouldn't break the door in his own room? But if the only choice you have is to break it, you break it. There's nothing bewildering about it. Leon, is your shirt a skull exploding? You still don't see? Okay then. Let's take another look at how the incident unfolded. Hopefully that will help you understand. Yoko said it was the bouldering act. I said no at first. But is that the key point here? We were to learn about the non-stop debates. Oh my god, I'm ending this episode here. <laughs> oh god, no. There's so much. Use a mouse wheel to bring up a list of truth balls to choose from. Okay. And then classmates. WSD. Fast forward. Get the control key and speed up the text. Okay. Well, I'm gonna go ahead and end this episode here. Because we're doing- we're doing an awful lot. So anyway, thank you very much for watching, and hopefully, I will see you later.